how to generate image to videos, text to videos, face swap with AI. Yes, guys, see this image, see this photo up here. It was actually a photo and I actually generated it to a video. Now, this AI tool is super, super smooth. Hi, my name is Okobuchi. On social media, I teach you how to monetize the social media platforms, how to edit videos, and how to work with AI. Don't forget to comment in the comment section the next AI tool you want me to teach you. So today, I'll be teaching you how to generate pictures, how to get your pictures to videos, and how to get your text to video. And if you actually want to create a character, and you want that character to look like you, which means you can generate a picture, and then you go to swap the face to your face which means we'll be doing face swap this ai app is super super sweet and yes the app is free to an extent you all know all ai tools are actually free to an extent okay the app is free to an extent you can use it and it has no copyright as of now no copyright if you use their videos you don't have any copyright but if you need to pay for this app it's actually like five dollar which is the cheapest ai tool that i've seen as of now so yes i'll be factual with you guys so let me go teach you how to generate videos how to generate text to videos image to videos face swap on this ai tool. guys you come to your browser and you type clipify ai you type clipify ai so when you type it you look for this particular one with this this particular one yes this one with this logo sorry you click on it once you click on it you wait for it to open now you have this interface okay they're just giving you adverts and all that i'll click on sign in once you click on sign in i'll click go in with uh google then i click what i want guys i'm just signing in okay i know everybody knows how to sign in on the ai tools so we are successfully signed in and this is the interface of the app. Now here it says, uh, generate AI videos from text for better storyline. Okay. But let me show you what this app actually does. It actually have AI motion generator. It has AI video generator, video editor as well. Then here, which means you can edit your videos here, cut and join your videos like you do on CapCut. AI photo animator, you have it. AI talking avatar, you have it. So this particular app has it all. You see this clip file? It has everything that you feel like you need when it comes to AI. Okay, let's slow down. Now uh, we click on get started. If you click on get started, yeah, you have text to video. You have image to video. You go down, you have text to frame to video. I don't know if you guys know this particular text to frame to video, but yeah, I'll get to it. This is the most interesting part. I did not even know they have this particular one here. All right. Now, what you need to do is here they said, uh, describe what you want to the AI to create for you. So if you want text to video, you definitely choose the text to video and you type out what you want to type out. And if it's image to video, then you choose. So I think we should go for text to video first, right? Let's go for text to video. I'll type in a young girl with a young girl with her pet cat playing outside outside in the garden okay okay now you have um we write down this that's text to image we are going down here okay now the same mode you just click on standard okay camera control auto control just leave it to auto control and mode don't use professional just use standard for now and let's see if they're giving us aspect ratio okay now once we get to this to this place right we'll click here and then you see generate you click on generate you click on generate and you wait. So while we are waiting for this image to generate, let's go to chat GPT and get our prompt for the image because we'll do this one is text to image, text to video. Now we are going for text uh, image to video. Open your chat GPT app and, and then give me a prompt to create, to create. Okay. So I'll, I'm asking ChatGPT to give me a prompt. 
So I'll take this prompt. Once I get this prompt, I have it a prompt. I'll take this prompt not to make our video short long. Now I copy this prompt here. I'll click here on copy. Guys, if I'm typing in and I'm letting you guys see what I'm typing in is because I also want you to know that it's actually easy. I don't want to do the copy and paste, copy and paste that the other people are doing for you. And then you get confused along the line. You don't know where they took the, you don't know where they took the, the right up to go and paste. So I'm giving you step by step. Now this is chat GPT. For those who don't know, this is chat GPT. And I came to ask chat GPT to give me a prompt to generate a better princess. Now I copied it and I'm going to pick Lumen. Okay. I'll click on pick Lumen. I'll all the apps in the description box, please. I'll click on pick Lumen, which is the purple app. This one. Yeah. Okay. I'll click on it. Once I click on it, uh, it's asking me to sign in, which I already signed in, but I don't know why I was locked out. So I'll just continue to, to just resign continue okay so peak lumen we are in so this is how you get your peak lumen this is how it looks like it's a purple app the link in the description box i'll click here where you see the writing down here you see four emojis okay you see four effects i will take the second one which is like a pen a small pen writing i'll click on it now once i click on it down here you can see what do you want to draw where it says what do you want to draw i'll click there and then i'll click again and i'll paste my prompt that i copied from chat gpt okay after pasting my prompt that i copied from chat gpt the small lines by the side here i'll click on the small lines because i want to have the youtube aspect ratio right let me go back <laughs> okay you see it here i'll click on 16.9 because this 16.9 is the youtube aspect ratio okay now, once I click on 16.9, you have my model. My model is on Flux. I'll choose the Flux model because here you can actually click on Flux. When you click on it, it takes you down here where you can see different methods. But I like the Flux because it's very good for images. Now, when you're done setting this and choosing what you want to choose, choose number of pictures to generate. I'll click on done. Once I click on done, I'll come here and click on this arrow here. And I'll wait for this image to generate. Okay. Because we'll be using this image to get our video. We already did a text to video. We need to go get image to video as well. Ooh, this is so beautiful. This is so nice. I think I'll take this one. I'll click on it and I click on download. Let me just save the two because I might still use them. So I clicked and I download that. Okay. Now I'm leaving the peak lumens and we are going back to the app to see, um, what we've created. Okay. This app is on the browser. Remember? So I'm going back to the browser. Video is ready. So I like this video. See the movement and everything is good. Looks original. Now I'll click on the image itself. Once I click on the image, I'll save. You see the save button, you save it. You can see the save button there, download. Then I'll click on the image again and click on create down there. It will take me back to the menu. So first we did text to image. Now text to video. Now we are doing image to video. Okay. Now I clicked on the image to video and I'll click on photo library and I'll take a photo from my gallery. So let's go take a photo from my gallery. This is the photo I chose. Now... I have this photo, just click on it and it will upload up here. So we need to wait for this photo to upload because it takes a few seconds to upload. Now we have the image. You can see there face swap, you can see mode, you can see camera row. So I clicked on face swap because I want to show you how the face swap works. Now when you see upload and different faces, you see different ones you can swap to, but there is upload. You click on the upload first. Once you click on the upload, it will take you to your gallery to bring your own picture so there i'll click on the picture and i just click upload and it uploads now you have it there what you need to do now is you click on my picture i'll click on top of my picture like the picture down that i uploaded i'll just click on it and it will highlight so once you click on it and it highlights you click on swap face and then you wait for it to swap so yeah let's wait for it to swap oh my god can you see that face swap like let me zoom in. Can you see the face swap? Yeah, it's so real. You see that one and you see my own picture. The resemblance is so good. Okay. Now, when you're done doing this, all you need to do is you have your photo ready now. And I'll just click 
back like the arrow back and go back to the main page so i can actually turn this image into a video right that's what we came here to do now you see the negative prom mode camera control now on mode just put standard on camera control put auto then on creative describe like just describe what you want so apparently i just put uh what i wanted to put was just make the princess move her hands and touch her hair that's actually what i wanted like make the princess move her hand and touch her hair and that's it okay when you're done setting everything you see where it says generate just click there and generate your video okay because of the prompt i put this is how the video came out you know because i actually 